I'm Crackberry Kevin, and today we are talking about keyboards, physical keyboards. Crackberry.com. When something like the BlackBerry Key 2 comes on the market, you see some question marks from people around like, well, that seems so old school to have a keyboard on a phone. Like, why do you need it? I have a full touch screen. Well, I mean, it makes me think I'm on crazy pills. Because look at this Apple MacBook Pro. Are you typing on glass? No, you're typing on physical buttons. Oh, look at this iPad, which by itself comes with a piece of glass. But I go into Starbucks all the time and see people with, oh, what's this? A physical keyboard tap to it. It seems to me that people like touching and pushing buttons. They like feeling it. It's good for accuracy. It's good for a bunch of things. But on smartphones, that kind of went away and we live in this sea of, of touchscreen slabs. But that doesn't mean the physical keyboard doesn't have a place. It doesn't mean there's not tens of millions of people out there who want one still. So it's not just about speed. It's about speed while being accurate. And that's the key thing to the BlackBerry physical keyboard. You can be walking and typing. You can be in the back seat of a bumpy Lyft or Uber or taxi ride. And you can still type with confidence compared to a touchscreen where you're gonna be mistapping everything because you're actually in motion. That's a huge difference. It's just a much easier typing experience when you want to pound out a long email when you're not at your computer and make sure it's accurate. You know, if you're in a business where decimal points matter, where spelling proper names matter, you're gonna probably get that right much more often on that physical keyboard. Muscle memory. You, know, you can basically learn to type with your eyes closed. And it's kind of true. Like once you type on this enough, your thumbs will just remember where to go. You just don't get that when typing on glass. Muscle memory is a good thing. Not all physical keyboards are created equal. That MacBook Pro keyboard, that iPad keyboard, dumb as stumps. This keyboard, it's not like even older Blackberries of the past. It's really the smartest keyboard I've ever seen because it's actually touch sensitive. So as much as this is a touch screen above it, this is also a trackpad below it. And it enables some really cool features. Like when you are typing, if you wanna delete a word, you can just swipe back left with your thumb on the keyboard and it deletes the word behind it. Or if you see words coming up on auto suggest, you can actually just swipe up on the keyboard to flick type. Super cool. There's other things too. You can actually use it as a trackpad. So when you're in an app like Instagram, scrolling through your feeds, instead of smudging up your screen and scrolling like that, you can just casually move your thumb and scroll through the feed. Now, it's kind of nice for one-handed ease of use. It's also nice so you don't accidentally mistap a like on a completely inappropriate photo that you just really shouldn't be liking. Relationships have ended for stuff like that wouldn't have happened if you had a physical keyboard that you were scrolling on. So another benefit is when you have buttons, you can program them to do things. So for example, if you want to speed dial your, your wife, your boss, your brother, your friend, your parents, you can program that in. But you can do other things too, like program those shortcuts to open apps or even take actions like jump to composing an email. If you actually commit to shortcuts, you're going to find yourself really, really productive. Another benefit of the key too is this little button called the speed key. It's basically your multitasking key so that if you're in an app on your phone and you just wanna jump right to another app, you don't need to hit the home screen button and tap another app or you don't need to double tap it. It's action, action, action. And that's what a physical keyboard gives you, it's action. Right here, it looks like a space bar. It is a space bar but it's also my fingerprint sensor. So when I have the phone powered off, if I touch it, these fingers aren't programmed. Use my thumb, screen turns on, authenticated, it's me. That's awesome. Great use of space. So this isn't just a physical keyboard, this is smart as hell. It is awesome. Speaking of hell, another benefit of the physical keyboard is avoiding what I like to call autocorrect hell. So I think we've all done this on touchscreen phones. You know, we're typing, we're having a conversation, we're looking, da, 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 and you look down and you're like, oh my God, what did that sentence come from? Like, what is this garbled mess that I actually typed? And you know, with a physical keyboard, that doesn't really happen. You're gonna maintain that flow as you're typing and not get stuck in it. And the other thing I really love is I think it actually keeps your personality intact. You know, one of the things that happened to me, and I know it happens to a lot of people when they, they type on touchscreen phones over time, 
is you actually type not what's in your head and that you want to type, you, you start typing to avoid autocorrect kicking in. So you start minimizing your personality. You, you type smaller words that you know it's gonna get right or just boring words that it's gonna get right. But if I wanna be like, hey, what's up? And 17 exclamation marks and some words capitalized and some this or type in slang, autocorrect hates slang. You lose that personality. So it's you, it's what you want on the screen. It's not what autocorrect wants it to be. I just love that. Keys to success. Last reason, and you know, I can actually come up with a lot of other little ones, but I don't wanna go too long here. It just feels good to push buttons. I mean, even this keyboard in particular on the Key 2, they went back through the history of BlackBerry keyboard phones, and they really crafted a keyboard here that has just the optimal clickiness, tactility, the bounce back, the feedback, the amount of pressure it takes the buttons, and um, that's a powerful thing. So pushing buttons that feel good can't be beat. Just go pick one up and commit to it for a week, you'll love it. And if I missed any favorite reasons for loving a physical keyboard, drop them in the comments below. Thanks again for watching. Kevin out. Crackberry.com.